Yeah, dude. People just walking out in the road. Now that was good. That's what I want to see. Hello, everyone. We are in downtown Asheville to do our uh, blind corner test, or yeah, I guess you can call it a blind corner. Um, turn off, turn off our flashers here. But I haven't done this in quite a long time. I don't even know what version I did this on last. I've, it was definitely one of the 1069s, but I've not done this on version 11 yet. Um, so coming up here, there were some issues because of poor map data in the construction zones on 26. Um, there are definitely a lot of issues. This is improved. Well, no, 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 no. Get, yeah, there you go. Because I, yeah, this gets in the, um, it able to navigate the lanes better, even though there's really poor lines in that area. Basically no lines at all. And yeah, you can turn right and right here. Yeah, good creeping behavior. Yeah, so all this is good. It's hard for me to remember everything, but, um, so take some of the stuff I say with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty confident on those last two things. That was a for sure improvement. So they fixed the speed limit here. That used to be 35. It was 25 a long time ago. It went to 35. Now it's back to 25. It should never be 35 mile an hour. Oh, Jesus. 35 in this area. Um, so that was too hard of a break. I'm capping the accelerator just a little bit to get it out of the road. And we are on our way. So this is a one-way road right here. Said, see, look, it's 35. Um, but it's not showing the um, slowing for speed of uh, slowing for road type. It's just slowing. It's just going slow just because. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, I think technically pedestrians always have the right of way. So if they cut in front of you, you're supposed to stop. Why is it? Oh, I'm going to do this just because there's no one around me. Oh, no. It didn't start recording. Okay, well, I guess we're... I guess I'll line up the exterior video once... Um, we're getting Carolina Lane here. So... Traditionally, this has always had a hard time turning into this lane here. I think it's also having a hard time figuring out where it needs to turn. It's got it on the screen. Is it going to do it? I'm not pressing anything right now. There we go. There we go. So it needs to, um... It is not 35 mile an hour. And See, that's the thing. This is where it's not showing the slowing for road type. Hey, apparently that doesn't apply in the city. Um, so we need to go ahead and I need to pull this up here. I'll get out of the car. And we'll start our 360 camera. Okay, I'm not sure why that wasn't recording. But um, what we need to do is navigate to here, and then back to Carolina Lane. And hopefully it's going to let us do that. Okay, let's see if it'll pull out away from these trash cans. And so we're going to do, I think we'll do two of the lefts and two of the rights, and call it that. So this, it needs to... For this lane, uh, for taking a left, it needs to be all the way over to the right. Okay, so it made it. And it's just stop. Okay, I'm, I'm going to press it because we're just stopping in the middle of the road. Um, for some reason. Yeah, so as you saw, that car in, uh, flew by in front. Um, cars regularly fly up this road in here. And it's like a you know, 30 mile an hour road. It's... Now it said limited max speed for road type, which is funny because this is not the type of road you would limit the speed on, per se. But, um, yeah, we're going to do this a few more times. Maybe we'll do that one three times because that's the one that's the hardest is taking a left turn. The right turn's a little bit easier, but um, the left turn's always the hardest one. So let's see if it makes this turn better. So it's all the last couple of versions have had a hard time making this turn. And this one nails it. Awesome. 
So now we need to come back to Carolina Lane. Yeah, we're turning on the blinker. And press and accelerate just to keep it going. Navigation takes so long to round. I think it's doing it even though it's not showing it on screen. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Wait, what? It rerouted to the same place. No, we want to go here. This is probably the bug where it's not gonna let me let me go that way. Let's see if it's gonna do it. So it needs to. It's not gonna do. <laughs> I swear, this is the bane of my existence with full self-driving is nav and map issues. Like, the reality is if the car, we're gonna, we're gonna do, call, the, we're gonna call that a disengagement strictly because it, it's, the point is on this road and it's like, oh no, we're gonna go to a different road. I don't, like, that can't be that hard to fix, relatively speaking. Like, come on guys. I, I don't understand why, why that's a thing. But, um, it is. So let's reroute it. I need to look back at the old videos because I swear it wasn't this slow to reroute. I should have. I forgot to record a voice message. I should have recorded a voice message saying, hey, this is the only reason I disengaged is because it routed to the wrong road. The point is on a different road and navigation is around to the wrong road and we're going to full hard stop right there, huh? Okay, so let's see how it does. We got some traffic coming from the left. I think because of that, it's creeping even slower now. And yeah, they got lucky again. Why is it stopping in the middle of the road? It's so hesitant right here. This is a downgrade. Um, I don't know why it, like... It's creeping is really good, but once it's out on the road, it just needs to go. It can fully see. It's like it stops working, and like it like gets scared or something once it's out on the road. So okay, freaked out because of that car. So that's it's not good. So honestly, Asheville doesn't seem improved at all. I mean, okay, there's a okay. Let me phrase. There's a few areas where it's improved. But in terms of like... In terms of just the standard stuff that I was failing at before, like that turn, like creeping out for the blind turn. This person's on the wrong side of the road. Thank you. Um, no, that's not where I wanted to navigate. We're going here. The nav issues, that's still an issue. Uh, the speed limits are still wrong. It's not, it is staying a little bit slower, so that's good. No. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not gonna do this because I can't get it the route. I can't get it to go to Carolina Lane. It's just not going to go to it. That one might make it go. Okay, I'm pressing it through. It's just far too hesitant around pedestrians. And maybe that's what they did with the point release. They made it more hesitant around everything now with the dot two release since this is going wide. That's very possible that's what it's doing. It's just really really hesitant okay so then the 
It's gonna do a hard break there. Okay, I had to press the accelerator because it was just forget. I'm I'm sorry, everyone. This just Asheville is not good. This this is this is not any better. Like my area, I think if I had to make a complete guess, the reason this is so much worse or not okay. Let me phrase that. Not better. It's not any better, like, almost at all. I, I'm having a hard time finding anything that's better so far over the last time I did this. Hello, everyone. This is Rocco here. I just wanted to interject. Um, to say the least, I was getting very frustrated. And you'll see this in the next, uh, this video and the next two videos of the navigation in Asheville. Trying to place points around the map and get it to navigate where I want to. It frustrates me quite a bit um, and it clouds my um, judgment. Um, Asheville does have a few improvements obviously you'll see in the um, uh, chapters down below that there are have been improvements already uh, over the previous version. There are a couple of regressions but overall and there are more improvements it's just that map navigation issue just causes so much frustration and it clouds my judgment. So I just wanted to preface that and I'll probably do this on every video just so everyone realizes it. But yeah, um, hope everyone's enjoying the video so far. I appreciate you guys watching, everyone that's sticking it out um, through the good and bad. And keep on watching. I'm having a really hard time. We're going to do a right turn here, then we're going to do another left. And otherwise, that's... We're gonna that be the end of these routes because I need to get to our hiking spot, and then it's gonna re navigate. You saw me. I put put the point there, and it's gonna navigate there. This is this is absurd and absurdly frustrating. Maybe this won't be an issue. Like, I guess we can just do it that way. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll do it that way, everyone. Yep, so we're gonna do that. Gonna do a blind right. No. Gotta need to stay as far right as it possibly can. Though it has to be able to make this sharp right turn. So it. Okay. So that's not terrible, but still room for improvement. It's just, I think the reasoning for it not improving is because it, the car's not able to store enough data and get it home to upload it. It's not able to upload over LTE. And that's strictly the reason it's just not able to, you know, get it done. It's just, none of this seems improved. And no one else drives full self driving in Nashville that I know of. It has all these people going across and... Now it's good to go. We have these two people. I'm gonna press it. I'm pressing the accelerator because it. Oh, that's that guy. Oh. Yeah, so. This is really disappointing. Maybe our next drive will be a little bit better. Uh, it has the potential to be really good. Oh yeah, we're gonna do one more left turn, and then we'll do another right on the next video. So we do, I guess, what was it, three, three lefts, and then one, one right in this video. It's done every one, cause just because we got lucky from traffic, uh, no traffic. But it's just, I'm not, I'm not impressed. Like this, so Yaman, I, if you watch this, um, my idea for robo taxi is still going to be 2025 for Asheville. They, they because they haven't really improved anything in the last 6 months. Very little has been improved in the last 6 months that um I just don't I, I don't see it happening. Um Now they can change my mind. It's very possible in 6 more months they can um they can uh, make it happen. Okay, dude. 
people just walking out on the road. Um, but yeah, so I made this turn. I'd say that's an improvement. That was pretty confident. But it's, it's really hard to find improvements um, right now. Um, so in that, I'm gonna go to the ranking. As it doesn't. Yeah. Auto steer temporary unavailable. Okay, there we go. One more turn we go. As it doesn't have the nav data. Yeah, it's just all these really hesitant brakes. I, I just, this is really disappointing. I don't know. It just, the creep behavior is good. As you see there, the car it came right there. If we were just a little bit earlier without that, um, now that was good. That's what I want to see. Like, I don't know why the last two times it was so hesitant. That was really good in terms of coming out. Um, but I don't, I, yeah, I don't quite understand. Um, I wish we got that, the SUV that came past, but, um, yeah. Um, I guess wrap up for this one. Uh, again, it's not, not doing good in Nashville. I, I, and I suspect the reason why is they just don't have the data of Asheville yet. Uh, there's not enough people that drive this route and go immediately home and upload. There's not enough data can upload over the LTE network. And I, I, that is almost certainly, in my opinion, the reason it's just not doing well here. It's having a lot of hesitancy in, in this area. What's it doing there? It was like taking a wide turn going towards that car. Let's see if it can make this turn better than the last time. Solid. And we're gonna break hard for the mail truck. Like that seems like the type of issue Mike and Chuck were having, where this is a fairly narrow road with no lines and it just breaks hard and just stops. So like everyone, you're gonna get rear-ended um, that way. Am I seeing things? I didn't notice this, but is the right blinker on this entire time for both of these left turns? Or am I just mistaking and completely confused right now? Hey, when there's no people... And then it jams on the accelerator. Okay, when there's no people around, it does pretty okay. But the thing is, you're in a city, and you're in Asheville cities, which I don't, I suppose it's probably the same for most cities, but people just walk out in the road, they just cut out in front of you, people have the right of way and they don't care. Oh, this little, this little kid seems to be afraid they cross the street, I think. Okay, maybe not. Okay, final stretch here. Yeah, um, I'm not too impressed with Asheville. I'm gonna go ahead and tweet that after. Like this, these stops, it's just like, it's back to where it was a long time ago where it's just so afraid of humans. Oh, come on, don't tell me you're, I'm gonna get stuck here. Um. All right, in our nav point, kind of see. Okay, I guess this person's backing up to let me go through. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this route, everyone. We're gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna disengage. <laughs> I can't stand the, the blinkers. Um, okay, so we're gonna stop here real quick and reroute, and that's gonna be in this video. I appreciate everyone watching. I like to keep it real. It just wasn't great today. Let's see if the next one can be better. Thanks for watching, everyone.